Good morning, makers. I've got three videos for you this morning. Three music videos I want you to take a look at. Uh, the first one is about carrying on. Carry on. The second one is um, relating that carry on to somebody else. It's an anthem between Pink and Nate Russ, Roos. Um, and the third one is about dancing on the chandelier. Uh, sorry, all of these are old, my own references. These feel very new to me, very current. And in looking at, in, in looking at them, they're probably uh, first or second grade references for you. Um, so, apologize for the dated references, but you got a dated teacher, so just to accept it. <laughs> um, so look at those three videos, and what I want all of you to do, whether you're in acting for the screen, whether you're in introductory media, whether you are in our broadcast class, look at that stuff that's all around you and find inspiration in it. Find a story. Uh, this morning, the light was playing off of a... Uh, a little, I didn't even know what it was. It was, a, it was sort of an accident of a, a ribbon spinning around a uh, uh, little uh, mobile that we had hanging on the uh, window shade. Um, and it was like a little piece of the chandelier. Uh, so the idea of uh, swinging on the chandelier uh, came to me. And also a little bit of a Cirque du Soleil as that ribbon spins around this little piece of thread. It felt to me like, uh, like a circus performer, like a Cirque du Soleil performer. So find these little bits of something in the little world you find yourself in and look for some inspiration. And specifically, I want you to make a music video. I want you to find inspiration in these music videos. But find something in this house of yours, in this space you find yourself, and just look at it, listen to it, see what it says to you. Beautiful, cloudless day out there today, and uh, inspiration in the place we find ourselves. And use this as a way of finding out your own relationship to this place you find yourself, and create. The way specifically to do that is just pick up whatever you have, pick up this device and record. Record the world that's around you. And some of you I think are um, perhaps struggling, struggling, have not found a uh, way to, maybe recording is easy since most of us have these devices, but you might find it more challenging to edit these pieces. And that is the next big adventure. I mean, recording yourself, simply turning this camera on and talking directly to the camera is for most of us easy technically to do. It's really a great revolution that we have these devices and that we can record ourselves. But that's where we start is just the human voice talking into the camera. And that's what uh, we started with last week. But now it's about those images that are all around you. And the key is starting to edit these images together. We move from just one continuous roll of the camera into controlling time and space, and that's really, that's the trick in media, is we can move from place to place. We can unify the place that I live in and bring it to the place that you live in, both in a physical way, but also in terms of the other great thing that media does, which it combines both the veracity, the real life, the thing that's right in front of us with the way we imagine life to be. Those two poles of media, on the one hand, reality. Is reality over here or is it over here? I'm looking at a mirrored image. So let's start with reality over here. 
and then we move to reality as we imagine it to be. As Albert Einstein said, imagination. Actually, I don't have the quote in front of me. Sorry, Albert. Um, But the idea that imagination is the key. And what imagination is, is imagining how things might be. And it starts from seeing things as they are, gathering all that stimulus. And what creators do is they imagine how things might be. They see what they see. They see directly in front of them, and then they transform it by imagining what life might be. And in a very elemental way, that's what I want you to do in your own spaces where you find yourself. That's what remote learning is. You take what's happening right in front of you, right there, and you imagine this bigger world through this flow of information coming towards you and then you put the two together and that's creativity and that's what this class is all about so do it do it now once you record that stuff use we video you can actually get it on your phone i will check i believe you can get it on an android i'll bring up my android and make sure that you can get we video on the android as well i believe it is available for uh, android devices or if you have a chromebook uh, a Mac OS or a Windows system, any system, and you have internet connection, you can use WeVideo on the desktop, uh, WeVideo.com, and you can create videos, bring your information into your computer, and then send it out to the to WeVideo, and then you can edit via WeVideo's cloud services. So those are a couple of ways you can edit. Also, another way you can edit is with iMovie on the phone. There is a cost to that, but WeVideo is, uh, there's no cost to WeVideo. So make movies, look at these music videos and see how the people who made these are imagining how life might be. And certainly when we're creating a song, creating an anthem, it's about imagining how life might be. I think that's something about why we sing a song. We hear beauty, we hear music in the day, and we create based on that. And that's what I want us to spend time doing, is make movies. So, next step after you shoot this material is starting to edit them together. We'll be talking about that later.